Hey everyone, it's Virus, and today we're going to start a new Let's Play. We're going to play Rise of Nations Extended Edition. The reason I picked this game is that ever since I was little I've played this game, but now Steam has released an extended edition of it, which makes me even more excited to play it. It's supposed to have upgraded graphics, which is the main reason why I actually stopped playing the first one in the first place. So without any further ado, let's begin our new Let's Play. We're starting the Alexander the Great campaign. To begin our journey, let's click, click new campaign. When Alexander the Great was one of history's most brilliant generals. Alexander was thrust onto the throne at a young age after the murder of his father, the king of Macedonia, in 336 BC. At the time of his death, 13 years later, his empire spanned most of the known world from Greece to India. Follow in his footsteps or forge your own path as you attempt to conquer the world. In our campaign. Alright, so the map looks a bit like the old one, except everything's in 1080p HD. So it looks like all they did in the extended edition is just improve the graphics. Which is fine, because the actual gameplay was perfect. For an RTS game, I'm pretty sure Rise of Nations has a number one spot because I can't think of any other games that actually are better than this one alright our advisors intelligence the priorities conquer the barbarian rebels to the north and Thrace who have revolted upon your father's death victory conditions win by controlling the known world through conquest and diplomacy hints to do this so let's just invade Let's get this place because then we can get that armory right there. We can get another army. We can get that. We can get the horses. Whatever they're called. So we're going to start our first battle in Rise of Nations Extended Edition. Alright, so our, our battle objectives Barbarians of Thrace. The Illyrian barbarians in this ter territory have revolted against your rule. You have allied with one of the local tribes. With their assistance, you must crush the Illyrians and all others who oppose you. Alright, there's the Thebans. Or Thebans. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's just begin. Alright, we get our awesome little army right here. Look at these guys. Full and muscular. I guess, whoa. Alright, so we, the map looks pretty dope, actually. Everything's all updated and looks pretty nice. Let's see, what are we supposed to do? We have to destroy King Cletus. Purple. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's just do that, I guess. Because I can't think of anything else to do right now. How do you change the speed in this? It doesn't look like the advanced options have been updated. So, I mean the advanced. Uh, show advanced options, yeah. I've played this game before, actually. Before it was in its original. I mean, before it was in its extended edition. Alright, so let's go and kill the purple guy, because I can't think of anything else to do right now. Now, where's the time button? There used to be a time thing right here. Let's move in formation right now. Let's pick this formation right here. Refused. That looks pretty cool. Alright, I can't find the, the time thing. I'm pretty sure there's something to make us... Oh my god. Alright. Well, I can't just do that right now because I'm trying to invade, trying to invade Illyria right now. So I can't help prevent the barbarians from attacking. All right, so the barbarians are attacking blue while while we're dying right here. So let's see what to do. What to do? Looks like we're gonna conquer this place almost, cause you can you can tell by the health bar we're almost there. We just have to assimilate it after that. Okay, I guess we don't have to assimilate anything. We won this, and now now we're gonna get out of here because then otherwise those purple guys are gonna kill us. So let's go and defeat these barbarians right now, cause it looks like that looks like that place is almost done. A granian. Oh, our city's lost. But we can regain that city, so that's what we're gonna do. Where are our troops? Alright, see, you can see the purple guys are following us, so we're gonna get into formation right here. Alright, 
so let's go ahead and kill him right now. And we can have Force March, that'll make everyone move faster. Where's our other general? Maybe he died. Maybe we didn't get one, I don't know. Let's see, where do you find the speed button? Dang it. I forgot how to play this game. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what our... Army should be attacking the capital in order to recapture it. Alright, perfect. And if you're wondering, I'm playing this game on moderate. So... It shouldn't be too difficult. Because playing it on tough is just kind of a pain. Okay, great. Now they've joined us. We're gonna slowly assimilate that and then let them die of attrition. Okay, you can see the blue guys are over there, and let's take our let's take our army and get out of there. Just let the blue guys deal with their own problems right now. And let's go head to Amphip Amphipolis. 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 These names are so hard to pronounce. All right, we have to find the three Gete stables and destroy them. Yeah, we don't actually have to worry about that because he's actually dead. Now, let's see. Is there any way to change how much time we have? I mean, the speed of this. Let me check. Options. Perfect. Alright, so now we're just going to move on to Amphipolis. Alright, we can just ignore that since he's already dead. We don't have to worry about that. Alright, Macedonians, Classical Age. Since this isn't an actual conquest scenario, we don't actually have to worry about any of the usual problems of that. So now, our goal is to go find the stables, like this guy. We gotta go try to kill this guy. Because these light horses will keep on trying to attack our citizens. We don't want that. Alright, so let's go find the stables and end it. Let's see, what should we do? Should we buy it, wait, or kill him? Since 200 gold really isn't that much, I'm I'm probably going to just buy them. All right. All right, that was pretty easy. Now let's let's go attack our first stable right now. You have the option of creating a catapult to do this, but I'd rather not. I'll just go attack right now. All right, so that doesn't look good, but once we kill the stables, it doesn't really matter if this, this guy dies or not, so might as well just destroy all the stables first. Look at that. Using those little fire arrows. Take an arrow to the knee that, to all of these horses. We're going to destroy the stable because it's going to produce more light horses. Alright, this doesn't look good. That wasn't very smart, actually. Should have killed the units first. Yeah, that, that was pretty stupid. Alright. Mm. Let's have these actually guard the catapults. Now we're just going to use everything to attack the stable. Except we're going to have our flanks guard the catapults right now. And let's see, let's... This isn't gonna look good, so we can get out of here first. Well, 
We'll use the flanks to try to destroy these light horses. Alright. Definitely need more catapults than that. Alright, we're gonna create decoys right now just to help. And now we're gonna attack this place. And just like that, this stable is out. I'm gonna guard these, use this to guard our general. And now we're gonna destroy these stables and destroy the Gete. See where's our general right here? We're gonna use this to create decoys. You can see the stable doesn't have too much of a help left. And we're gonna win. We won the scenario. Alright, we can examine the map right now, and look at this, there's some houses over here. But other than that, we've won! Alright, game stats. It looks pretty cool. We're good. And let's continue the strategic map. Alright, we got our rare re we got our rare resource, the horses, and our supply center, which is the main reason why I even fought this place for the supply center. We get a free army. Alright, message from the Cynthian Merchant. I'm grateful for the business in Thrace. I was able to use that money to make a fortune. Here's 30 tribute as a token of my appreciation. Alright, so we were nice to the merchant. And as a result, we got 30 tribute from all the money he made from all our 200 gold. Okay, thanks for tuning in for the first episode of Virus Guide HD. I'm Virus, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.